There's a raven over here. It landed in this tree just a minute ago. And it made a sound a little like that, only very, very fast, like... Very, very fast, though. And I asked it what it meant, because it made that sound a few times. And the mountain lion said, it means I'm here, but don't want anybody else to know, just ravens. So I figured that that sound, only very fast, like paper shuffling, it means, in raven language, it means, shh, shh, be quiet, shh, I'm here. Cool, huh? So the raven told me that over this away, there's a mountain lion stalking. I had already heard it. And that same mountain lion is an older mountain lion. It told me that its daughter is over this way, waiting for somebody to go by. I was going to go up the hill, but the mountain lion, I couldn't see it. It's, it's so amazing. I'm such a poor person for seeing stalking animals, but I can hear them. And uh, I could tell it was, it was following me with its eyes, and it was about to follow me up to that point where the, there's a bench overlooking the Pacific Ocean, and people stop there. And the idea it had was that it could grab me there and pull me down the hill, and nobody would know. You know. So that put me on guard, you know. That sounded like a mature mountain lion, almost like a, a guy mountain lion, over that way. It's kind of a deep, hoarse voice. It seemed like it was tracking me with its eyes, preparatory to going up the hill to where the bench was. And then I saw two ladies heading up that way be behind me. So I waited till they got about abreast of me, and then I decided this was just too much for me. You know, I have a concern that I might get eaten. I don't want to be eaten at all, which I've already explained to the mountain lion. But I don't think it cares at all. It understands I don't want to be eaten. But when it's ready to eat, it's ready to eat. <laughs> So, this is daunting, so I'm heading back again, and I've been doing this all year long. I've been concerned about the mountain lions. I was out this way. I did ask uh, a naturalist on the tel telepathic plane how it's going with searching for the remains of people in those places where I predicted that the people were killed by the mountain lions, and the ranger said, you can't take this too literally until you check the facts in the third dimension, i.e. by telephone or email or online, but he said they found the remains of five people up there at that place. Was it, uh, where was that? High on the mountain above the ocean earlier this year. He said that what happened was the mother mountain lions had their cubs as usual, but that more of the cubs survived this year, maybe because of the great rains. I swear I just can't see any mountain lions, but I, I, I asked this one mother mountain lion on this trail where I'm walking now whether she'd made any kills down here. And she said this year, I presume she said she'd caught one school child. And I said, was the school child walking alone? And she said, no, with other school children. And they run, ran away really fast. So. Who knows? I'm sorry, I just don't know if this is true. It's enough to set a person on edge, all this mountain lion stuff. Oh, no mountain lions. What was that? What did you say? Mother Scrub Jay, what? What? Mountain lion? There? Not right now. Was not right now. I'll show you where. Where is not right now. Okay. Scrub Jay is right up there. And Scrub Jay says, Mountain Lion, not right now, not here right now. Run faster? Me? What's so funny? What? Not a scrub jay? What? Scrub jay? This is a difficult conversation. I'm, I'm trying to learn scrub jay, but I'm not so good at it yet. You'll have to excuse me. 
I was talking to, to that mother mountain line that was over there. The Pacific is over that way, over that hill. And the school child was apparently caught right around here. And I asked the mother mountain lion where it left the body of the child. And I heard from over here, I think it was the mountain lion's children talking from over this way and farther away down the hill. They said, scattered that body all around. And I said, why? Then they said, but soon it was all gone away. And I said, why did you scatter it? And they said, replying as if they were the mother, they said, hiding pieces here and there. So that's the MO over here, I guess, because the land is so open and it's hard to drag things into the chaparral. There's not much chaparral here. I, I guess from that, that mountain lions are pretty bright and they develop their own hunting strategies in various locations and also their own ways of concealing the prey. I've been hearing more mountain lion stories and I just thought I, before I leave the area I should check on those two women who were walking past the bench that overlooks the Blue Pacific. It looks like they took the uh, loop trail down from that into an area that's relatively uninhabited and so I called over that way, over that way past that hill on the other side there's like a plateau of land and then a steep descent towards the Pacific Ocean and then there are houses down there and that that lip of wild land down to where the houses are is apparently where the mother mountain lion's cubs migrated to really they need to be taken to Ventura County where there's more open land I feel at least they'd have a chance down there because the new season of, of baby mountain lions is coming up. Anyway, I heard those two ladies, they said they were fine, but they'd had a near escape over there on the other side of the mountain there. They said that I'm not a mountain lion, but a bobcat had tracked them for a while. So apparently there's a bobcat population that's also mushrooming out here at Charmley Park. And then I heard a man's voice. He said, if anything tracks you out here, the thing to do is to come on back to the trailhead, which, which I heartily agree. And then I remembered that earlier I had heard the most outrageous yowling sounds from this bush down here. Let's see. Where is that bush? Here it is, this bush. It's prominent when you walk down this path. It's prominent, that bush over there, stand, a standout. And I'd heard these cr crazy yowls coming from it. Like I thought, what could that be? And then later I went home to and looked up on YouTube the different kinds of predators that are out this way. I got back to the main parking lot of Charmley, and I was just sitting here next to the picnic benches in the uh, restroom. I was eating my lunch. And I kept hearing that, a voice. It sounded like a male, younger voice. For a while, I mistook it for a human being. It was, it was a, only a telepathic voice. Then I got to thinking that humans rarely contact me on the telepathic plane and just keep on talking out in the wilderness. And I realized it was one of the young male mountain lions. So following me so close here so close to the facilities and the restrooms and the, and the picnic tables over there. Uh, it just doesn't make much sense. So I got up and I was going to leave and then I heard the, the mother, I guess it was mountain lion, chip in. She was farther up the hill up here. See, there's the restroom up there. And then there's a car trail that goes past the ranger station and the nature center up the hill. It goes on up the ridge line to the water tower up there and then on down. Just as a hiking trail down that way because the main uh, trail goes the other way as Portrero Road. Anyway, earlier in the month I had sensed something waiting in the underbrush up there as I approached the water tower. And I thought I wouldn't go back up there that way. And today I heard 
and the telepathic sound of the mother mountain lion coming down from that direction and the child seems to be lingering right close to here so I asked the, the young male mountain lion if they'd ever uh, caught any any people here close to the parking lot and it said um, that they had chased them but that the people called out and that other people came to help them and so they couldn't catch them here. But I noticed just now that all the people have gone away but me. <laughs> so I'm thinking, you know, it might be time to leave. One other thing, um, I did the research online on YouTube about the sound of a uh, bobcat roar. It sounds like this, roar. <laughs> honestly. And uh, then the sound of a uh, mountain lion roar, which sounds puny by comparison. It really sounds like it comes from a much smaller animal. And so when I heard this strange roar coming from that sumac bush down the hill uh, out in the field priorly, I thought I couldn't figure out what it was. But when I when I saw the videos online, I found out it, it didn't sound like roar, and then it must have been a mountain lion that was upset that people were going by. So there are mountain lions here. In fact, the young mountain lion averred just now that there are five mountain lions in this park, which is, or in this area, which is quite a few, quite a few mountain lions, really. I wonder what will happen next year if there'll still be quite a few mountain lions. Isn't that interesting? I think I'm going to start working out at an exercise facility instead of coming out to the park or going down to the beach for a beach walk because at the beach all you see are road runners and flowers and surf. You don't see mountain lions. So here I am in my car in the parking lot and I was just drinking my coffee getting ready to leave and then I heard that young male mountain lion over there. Some hikers came up and they had a, dog, a young dog on the leash and the dog started barking and I'm going, oh no, I hope, I hope there's not a, a mountain lion encounter. Then the dog got in a car, right? So I looked up at my sunroof and I, I had it only, oh, four inches open. And I thought, I, I wonder if that's safe from the mountain lion. And then I heard the male mountain lion say, that's what I tried the other day. And I said, what, what happened? And, and it said, a man was in the car and I jumped on the roof and I reached down with, with my claw and, and tried to get him. Well, I'm figuring this can't be possible. This is just a Halloween joke. And uh, the mountain lion said, no, it's not a, a Halloween joke. I got to figure somebody else is pranking around with me on the astral plane, right? And I just can't believe this. This can't be true. So please take it with a grain of salt. So then I said to the mountain lion, I said, well, you couldn't get to the person anyway because they're in the car. And then the mountain lion said, I figured he'd get out. I don't believe it. I really don't believe it. I hope nobody else would hear this. Hi. There was a guy just there, he, he approached me, said he was looking for a bride and groom, maybe he's the photographer. I sure hope he finds him before the mountain lion does. Well, happy Halloween everyone. That's all for now. God bless you all, keep you safe, and be with you through all your days. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars and so are you. See you at my website, Awakening with Planet Earth. https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com.